Hi! Welcome to First Second Sketch School. My name is Maris Wicks. I am a comic book writer and illustrator. But the book I want to talk to you about today I was the illustrator on because I had the immense pleasure of working with writer Jim Ottaviani. This book is called Astronauts, Women on the Final Frontier. Oh, that's it right here. So the person on the cover is astronaut Mary Cleave, and she takes you through the history of women in space. Now, if Jim and my name sound familiar, it's possible that you might have read another book by us called Primates. And, oh, excellent, that's here too. <laughs> Books in space. Primates is about the early careers of Jane Goodall, Diane Fossey, and Berate Galdikas, and it looks at their field research and kind of how they did their science um, on Earth. But for astronauts, you get to go up in orbit. So I'm gonna take you over to the drawing board and show you how I cartooned a real living person, astronaut Mary Cleave. So let's head over there, see you in a little bit. Okay, hi everybody, welcome to the drawing board. Uh, Maris here again. I'm gonna talk about drawing Mary Cleave right here. Uh, like I said, she's the narrator for the book, Astronauts, Women on the Final Frontier. And before we get started, I just wanted to show you, well, A, that I use photo references for drawing real people because the people in this book were real and so were the places. Um, so for instance, there's a lot of space shuttle stuff that happens. So instead of a photo, I actually just have this cute little mock-up model of the space shuttle and it was really helpful for drawing a lot of the scenes where astronauts were outside doing work and I could position it however I want. Um, for Mary, I've drawn her lots and lots and lots and lots of times, probably about a hundred times before I figured out what I wanted her to look like. So off camera, I have this, which is kind of my little Mary reminder character sheet to be like, oh, this is how you drew her in the book. Because while I use my imagination a lot, I have these as guides and you'll find that people who work in animation or in comics will make character sheets for their characters. So let's get drawing. First, you need a pencil. Yoink. And for Mary, uh, or any humans, a lot of times I just look at their face. So I look at the face shape, like what shape is her face? What kind of hair does she have? Um, does she have any distinguishing features? So, um, you know, earrings, or does she wear her hair a certain way? Or, um, you know, if it was drawing, like for, I drew a lot of the space shuttle uh, 1980s crew and there was a lot of mustaches. So that was a, another fun thing to do. So I'm gonna just start with, her face shape, it's kind of an oval shape face. And one of the things that I do when I draw faces is I put a line down the middle and a line across. And that kind of helps me know where the middle of her face is and also about where her eyes are. So I'm gonna draw eyes and nose. Now, um, one of the things I think about when I'm cartooning is features. So Mary's nose kind of looks like the letter U, kind of a wide U. And that will help me so that when I'm drawing her over and over again, we know it's Mary. Um, colors help a lot as well. I did do digital colors for my comics. Um, but for a lot of stuff, I actually just draw with pencil on a page. So I'm gonna go lay her hair in. And I feel like her smile is not smiley enough. So I need an eraser actually. So let's see if I can find one. Oh, an eraser right here. I'm gonna move her nose up a little bit as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, erasing doesn't mean I made a mistake. It just means I'm working on the drawing. Um, so yeah, get a little better smile there. I feel like Mary's got a pretty awesome, awesome smile. Um, go to the neck a little bit as well. Um, now, one of the things that you're not gonna see in this video is the years and years and years of practice I have for drawing. Um, a lot of times people think that drawing is a talent and you're just good at drawing, boom, out the gate. And that's not true. Drawing's a technical skill, just like playing an instrument or playing a sport or doing pretty much anything. So you might have an easier time drawing than some other folks, but there's still a ton of practice you do. So um, I've been practicing drawing for about 38 years. So <laughs> I, like to, I like to tell people that, especially young people, because you don't get to see all the practice stuff that I'm I'm doing. You just see me drawing a character in a book. Um, one of the things I wanna include for Mary's uh, space, her flight suit 
is her patches. Um, for NASA missions, you get a patch and it will have, this is actually her patch, the same one that she's wearing. It will have the astronauts' names on it. And then usually the middle will have something that's uh, like something that they focused on for the mission. Other side. Yeah, I'm going to go back to drawing her hair. Um, and yeah, sometimes I just zone out when I'm drawing. It's kind of nice to do that. And I'll just kind of look at little parts and then come back to it and be like, oh, I like that part or oh, maybe I don't like that part. And it's just, I don't know, it's, it's pretty fun. Um, I definitely enjoy drawing. Like it's, it's fun for me to do. Although I will say that not every day is a good drawing day. Sometimes I have drawing days where I can't draw what I want. I just, it's not working. I have drawers blocked. So I do something else. I write or I take a walk or find some other kind of work to do. And usually after a day of reset, it's a lot easier for me to come back and draw. Okay. So pencil drawing is done. I'm going to ink. Now I don't normally ink with Sharpies for my comics, but I'm going to do it today because they're nice and dark and easy to see. Um, I will show you the types of pens I use when I ink comics. These are Uniball Vision pens. I like them. They're smooth. They're fun. Um, and yeah, I, there's no right or wrong way to make comics. This is just the way I like to do it. And you'll find that every artist has a different way they like to work. And it's not right or wrong. It's just different. So you might work similarly to me. You might prefer to do something else. Um, I really like drawing on paper just because it's fun for me to physically draw. I'm a very hands-on person, so it just feels good to draw on paper. Um, but for these comics, um, for the book, I actually uh, color digitally. I color in Photoshop. Um, and that is just because it helps when you print the book, get the colors to be nice and crisp. Um, I really do like to paint and use colored pencils and do all sorts of other live, called live media. Um, but for the sake of making books, it's a lot easier for me to digitally color. And that just, I don't know, just makes it easier for the printed, printed product. Um, but I ink all the comics on Bristol paper. And that's just like a, a this is computer paper, but Bristol paper is a little harder and it holds up a little bit better. So I'm gonna pass on there, cleave, and do the face. And I'm going to go back and do some lines in the hair. And I sometimes like to do little like thought lines or so sometimes if, if Mary's looking at something, we don't know what she's looking at. Maybe she's looking at mission patches on the side. Maybe she's, you know, looking at the shuttle. Um, and I'll do a title for it. So I'm going to put up at the top, astronaut Mary Cleave. I'll assign my drawing too, because I like to do that. So if I were to give you an art assignment, you don't have to do this, but I would say try and draw your favorite astronaut. Look at pictures of them. And oh, and if you don't have a favorite astronaut, just like, you know, poke around and try and find a favorite astronaut or just an astronaut you think is cool. It doesn't have to be your favorite. Um, and if you don't feel like doing that, draw yourself as an astronaut um, and a bonus come up with your mission patch. Like I said, this was Mary's mission patch. We got to make a mission patch for the book. Um, so Jim and I designed this and it's basically like the cover for the book, but it's got our names on it in first second, which was fun because a book is a mission of it itself. But yeah, draw yourself as an astronaut, design your mission patch. Uh, if I were to design a mission patch, I'd probably do a tardigrade mission, which are, you know, water bears and they've gone to space before. So I'd probably just do a little tardigrade and maybe a little tardigrade party. Yee. Yee. Eh, 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 eh. Tardigrade party. But yeah, have fun. And thank you so much for coming down and drawing with me. If you're interested in any of the stuff I talked about today, please pick up a copy of Astronauts, Women on the Final Frontier at your favorite bookstore or library. Um, and I hope you had a good time drawing with me today at First Second Sketch School. Okay. Bye, everybody.